Welcome back to Sunrise 644, our time here right now on this Monday morning. Well, last half hour, we shared tips from a sleep doctor on how to get a better night's rest without the use of sleeping That's aids. That's right, okay? We're, we've got practical, easy we tips did, to do. Yes. So we're going to help you out and uh, pair this with this. We certainly know how tough it can be to get a good night's sleep on this shift in particular, mm -hmm. technically a third shift. So we thought we'd share some personal advice that might be able to help you. You know, sleep can be pretty personal, and what you rest your head on quite literally might be the most important aspect. So there are all kinds of pillows from extra soft to mm -hmm. very firm, from contour pillows to memory foam, even cooling pillows. So Julia, here's the thing. Experts say your pillow should be replaced every 18 months. If you have a memory foam when it needs to be replaced every three years, and it may be worth in the investment since you use your pillow about 2,500 hours a year. Think about that. Here's some quick advice from sleep.org. So if you're a back sleeper, you may benefit from a thinner pillow or one of those memory foam pillows. For stomach sleepers, use the thinnest pillow you can find. And you side sleepers, find the firmest pillow you can find. But what do we use right here on Sunrise from the sleep experts? <laughs> Chuck, you've been on the shift a, a little while. Um, I can't tomorrow, remember how long. Tomorrow, 33 years. Well, congratulations, Thank buddy. Thank you very much. How well do you sleep? <laughs> Awful. Yeah. Okay, uh, and I use four, yeah, I use four pillows. This. this one goes between my legs. I have one under my okay. shoulder, one under my head, and then one to support my back. Okay, that's pretty fascinating. How would you define that as pretty soft? I would think. I'd say this is a medium. Okay. Medium mm -hmm. fill. Yeah. And you sleep on your back or your side? Where side. Do, you, you, uh, which is fine. I mean, right. you're breathing okay. You're not getting a ton of sleep, but yeah, uh, when you work third shift, that's tough none. as it is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but, but at least I feel good about the effort. I love the four. Okay, Julia. <laughs> Julia Moffat has the most oh, fascinating man. pillow we've seen. Tell All us right. about this, okay, baby. Okay, so this is what we call, I call this my head pillow. Yeah. And I can, I'm not kidding you, I cannot sleep if this is not on my head. That's a I, little yeah, pillow. A little I know. Well, so I have a different pillow uh -huh. that I also that I sleep on, and it's a very, very thin one, flimsy. Uh -huh. I just, I just, it felt too personal to bring it. In. Uh, <laughs> I know what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> right. So this what about is you? honestly every okay. time. So this is uh, m m m my newest addition to the Hill household. Not Baby Hill, but it's the new <laughs> pillow. It's the t it's a Tempur Pedic. In full disclosure, uh, this might be considered a bit off the wall. It's one of the contour pillows Tempur Pedic yeah. makes. It's very firm, but I am a notorious stuff sleeper so mm -hmm. this prevents me from doing that because of the contour here you see on the side it's very firm and has a cooling gel also right in the middle which I'll which I'll try to show you here uh, so I typically as I mentioned sleep on that but this really helps me do that it is an investment I mean it is expensive mm -hmm. it was about hundred and fifty dollars even on sale Hello. I know but think about 2400 hours a year you get to keep it for three or four years it's pretty good we're gonna talk apps mm -hmm. uh, Julie when you were in London if you like white noise uh, mm -hmm. or you don't this might be different because you've got all kinds of different ones to pick through what yeah, is this, so this is called? sleep melodies okay. it's a, a free download and you know you Really, you just pick what do you want to hear? Birds chirping? Okay. Do you want to hear? Well, like white noise. Yeah, the white noise. I mean, really, it's you know the ocean. Which you one can, do you? Yeah. you could. I kind of do a combination. I, I'm more of the white noise. Mm -hmm. Now, this okay. is when I travel. I do have just a white noise sound machine mm -hmm. that's going in our room, and you know, I go to bed early. I go to bed first, then mm -hmm. my husband comes in, and I would wake up. He would wake up every time. And once we did the white noise, yeah, it's so sweet. It was. Okay. It's perfect. Hey, let's talk about some other apps that are highly recommended. Okay. I'm trying All to be right. really calm since we're talking about sleep. These track your sleep. Okay, so uh, one is called Sleep Sli Cycle. It is free, and it uses uses your phone's microphone to track sleep patterns. The second one is free. It's already on your phone, actually. It's called Apple Bedtime. It's in your clock app that's already previously installed. It helps with scheduling your sleep. And then there's Pillow, which is free as well. And it'll give you information on your heart rate, your rapid eye movement, sleep cycles, and how long it took you to get to sleep. And you can also pay $5 for the premium version, of course, because the free one is a little limited. So in case you missed our advice earlier from a Sleep doctor from IU Health, as he nods <laughs> off, uh, you can head to WTHR.com. And hopefully these tips have helped you because, again, please, doctors say, do not use a sleeping pill. Right. I know it's hard. And then caffeine to really pump you up. Right. And a lot of people are guilty of doing that, myself included. But they say long-term health-wise, Because then don't do even it. when we do take those sleep aids, you know, we always know. Because in the morning, we're like, oh, I'm still, it's still I with me. I feel like garbage. So if you guys <laughs> don't mind, I'm going to get a little cat nap <laughs> in here. Remember, 15 minutes or less, that's all you can nap.